Bonjour and welcome to a new depotting video. It seems like you really enjoyed the first one I did a few months ago, so I have a lot of new products. I'm actually upgrading my main makeup bag. I had a medium sized one that's getting a little bit too small, so I just ordered a large one. So I'm going to have to reorganize everything and that's the perfect occasion to depot more products. If you don't know what depotting is, it's something that a lot of makeup artists do where we basically put a full size product in a smaller container just like that one for example the lip sleeping mask from La Neige that I really love and I depotted it into this tiny tiny little jar so it's a lot easier for me to put it in my kit and basically you would refill that little container as you need versus having the full size all the time with you. As makeup artists we have to carry so many products all the time with us and depending on the field that we work on we have to move every day to a new location so we have to carry our entire kit with us which can be very very heavy so that's the main reason why I like to depot my kit just to make it a little bit smaller and easier to carry around and it can also make the products a little bit easier to use so we can work in a more efficient way but every makeup artist has a different approach to depotting some makeup artists don't even depot any product it's something that's very um, personal but that's something I really enjoy doing I spend so many hours customizing my kit just to make it perfect for me and for the type of job that I do it takes some time for sure it's a tedious job but that's something that I find very relaxing I love watching depotting videos and I'm always looking for new hacks for my kit and even if you're not a makeup artist it can be very convenient sometimes especially now that everyone is going on vacation sometimes you don't need to bring the full size products if you're just going on a long weekend three days a week here or there you can just get some of these little containers instead and just bring the amount of product that you need i will link in the description box down below all the products and the tools that i'm using today including all the different containers some links are affiliate so thank you so much if you decide to shop through these links it really does help my channel to grow for me to get better equipment and make better quality videos so thank you if it's your first time here on this channel i am a freelance makeup artist in real life and i share on youtube all the hacks and the behind the scenes of being a makeup artist so make sure to subscribe if that's a type of content that you enjoy watching as always when starting a deponing session i put on some latex gloves just for sanitary reasons i'm sanitizing all of my surfaces with 70 percent alcohol as well as all the containers that i'm going to be using As you can see, I have different containers. So I just spray everything with alcohol, let it sit for 10 minutes, and then I pat everything dry with a paper towel. I'm going to start with the 5ml squeeze bottle. You've seen me using them in my previous depotting videos. That's what I use for all my foundations, for some powders, for a lot of my skincare. They don't leak, they are very easy to use. I really really like these little containers. And there's a lot of products that I need to have in my kit just in case. So that's why this container is just perfect because it's small enough, it can give me about five applications i would say per bottle which is more than enough for this type of product that we don't use often it's really really great for anything that's uh, very liquidy anything too thick is not really gonna work with that and it works really well for loose powders too just drop my can of coke 
everywhere on my carpet. I'm going to depot the Biosense Squalane and Copper Peptide Plumping Serum. For my clients that are extra extra dry, I like to start with this step just to give um, a plumping effect to the skin. The Makeup Forever primers that I was telling you about in my previous videos, I really like using them, not all the time, not on all my clients, but only on specific cases when needed. I am depotting the Living Proof Anti-Freeze Oil. Um, it's really great to use during the summer month when it's really hot and humid, just like right now. And one of my favorite foundations, the Dior Backstage. It has a soft matte finish. It's very long lasting, um, super lightweight. So I'm just adding an extra shade that I was missing. I also have this Harry's post shave balm for when I do male grooming and my client has to shave just to cool the skin down. And this one is Meron Skin Prep Pro which is basically an antiperspirant for the face. So you would apply it as a first step and you would avoid any sort of sweating. So it's a really, really great product to have in hot weathers. And once everything is depotted, I'm going to label everything with my Dymo just to make everything clear, visible and to not get confused. Now I'm going to depot spray products for the first time um, because the packagings are just so so bulky like for example for the um, setting spray from Urban Decay this is just so big I don't need that much for sure so I got these little spray bottles from Amazon they are 20 milliliters which is pretty great for what I need. As it's my first time depotting spray products I'm not sure if it's gonna be working I am depotting in these containers the Urban Decay setting spray as I was showing you. As well as a cosmetic sanitizer mist that I use to sanitize my powder products after using them. I'm trying these 18 milliliters little bottles here for my liquid products. That's gonna be for the products that I'm using the most. For example, 
my toner. Um, in my previous video, I dip all in my toner in one of the five milliliters uh, squeeze bottles, so the smallest ones. And because I use toner on most of my clients' application and multiple times through the day sometimes, the, that container was just too small, like I had to refill it all the time. So I needed a little upgrade. It seems like these containers are pretty good quality, so my hopes are really high because if it's working well, I might transfer my most used foundation in these containers too. I'm going to depot in these containers my um, toner lotion, I ordered these bottles from Amazon and they actually came with this little funnel and this pipette who are very very helpful for depotting. So that was a good surprise. My Bioderma micellar water. The main moisturizer that I use on most of my makeup applications, which is currently the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizer Lotion Plus. And I'm also going to transfer some of my Cinema Secret brush cleaner, which I have depotted a couple of times in different containers, but for whatever reason, it keeps leaking, evaporating, or I don't really know what's going on, but even when I'm not using it, the product just disappears. So I'm hoping that it's not gonna be the case again with this new container. I have one lipstick to depot this time and it's the very popular Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. It's just so easy to apply on everyone and a lot of clients are requesting it so I'm adding it to my kit. So I'm just depotting it in one of these little empty metal pans and then I'm going to add this pan to my um, custom magnetic palette that I created. I have been using these palettes for about two years now and I'm very happy with it. Another new type of container that I'm trying out today is these little jars. I started to accumulate a lot of cream products that come in a jar, such as um, an eye cream or the paint pot from MAC and they tend to be very bulky and very heavy. A lot of them are in a glass container which is, it looks nice, but it's heavy, especially when you have many different ones. I picked this size of five grams. You have smaller ones and bigger one as well, but I think it's gonna work pretty well for what I need. And I also want to make sure that they would fit into these little cases. Um, if you've never seen a photo of my kit, I have multiple of these clear cases and then I just label them. One is for foundation, one is for primers, one is for um, skincare. So I just wanted to have one with all of these sort of creamy products. It just fits perfectly. So I'm very happy about it. It's very satisfying. I depotted in this tiny jar the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask as I was telling you earlier. and some eye cream, and that's the one that I'm currently using from Tula.
This one is a cream blush from NARS in the shade Gasp. One of my new favorite products, the Eyes to Mesmerize um, Cream Eyeshadow from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Pillow Talk. I'm absolutely obsessed with that cream eyeshadow. The NARS Copacabana um, Cream Highlighter, which is a classic, the packaging is just way too big. The Nude Sticks Cream Highlighter in the shade Bubbly Bebe, which is a very nice soft gold. One of the OG products, the MAC Paint Pot. The Got To Be Spiking Glue that I'm using as a brow gel. I've heard very mixed reviews about people depotting that product because apparently it kind of melts the, the containers, like the plastic that the containers are made of. So because these are thick plastic jars, I'm hoping that it's gonna work, but again, we'll see. I'll keep you updated on that. And if you have any suggestions for this product in particular or any feedback, I would love to read that in the comments. Some shaving cream just for male grooming again. And I'm once again labeling everything. Okay, so as you can see, we went from all of that to only these little tiny containers. So my back is going to be very happy about it. And it means that I also have more space now in my kit to add more products if I need. It is so great. I really love depotting. I know that a lot of people are really, really into that too. Now I need to see how I'm going to organize all of that into my new makeup bag, but that's gonna be so much easier than having um, full-size products. I often post photos of my kit on Instagram when I'm on set, so you can come follow me there if you wanna see how I'm going to organize all of that. If you want to have more details about most of the products that I depotted in this video, I will put a video right here for you to watch next where I'm explaining why I love them, why I pick them up and how I'm going to use them. So make sure to check it out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bisous!